away from me, psycho! No! They called Phil Whoa. little pieces what of What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. G'day guys, it's Disaster Sajo here, back at again with Life is Strange Episode 2 Part 1. This episode is really important, and honestly, all it takes is just one person to save someone's life. That's what true friends are for. I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all in the video. Oh god. Uh, oh. <coughs> time to wake up. Come on, it's time for class. She's done a lot of research on her power. Something good. Oh, something good. Oh, something good. Oh, something good tonight. Make me forget about you for now. No, we're out of time. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. That's great, uh... The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. <laughs> Hi, Faye. Cartier Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just turn back on. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's just take a selfie. No smiling. Take your power seriously. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Yes, it will. Okay, plant. Water. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Okay, let's. Okay. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but. Don't drown it either, mummy. Uh, I'm guessing. Okay, you there, hippie. What about a fucking. What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass, and I need your help. Like when you told Stepdork it was your weight? But for reals, we need to talk, or eat an ass, <coughs> or eat an ass buster breakfast at two whales. My treat. So it's good to have minions. 
Got a bell master breakfast as a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. Oh. <coughs> Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late, or I'll know time is not on your side. Ooh, don't get high like in my room. On my way. You are evil. 40 minutes or else. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Quickly play. Um, you're not playing anything. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Uh, no, we need to open this. What's inside? Uh-oh, oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Well, why not? Oh, I thought we could actually... Wait, okay, never mind. Use. Whoa, hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Open. It will be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. 159 cards. Okay. Right, let's hit the shows. Please, please do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Hey! Knock, knock. Bitch. Fine, I won't disturb you. No, I will. Fine, I won't disturb you. What a rude bitch. Fine, I won't disturb you. Oh, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Ow! Um, wow, okay. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Poor girl, she always gets hit with everything. Wait, um... Love you. I'm glad I put that off. I didn't think Kate was like this. Macking on those bros. Wait, 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 wait. You suck. I want to talk to you. How dare you love her? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So. Are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Let's... Let's just go on her. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. 
not single. Huh. Okay. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. I'm not gonna bother reading that. No. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Pringles! Well, not quite. Trevor's jacket. Interesting. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, <laughs> not her room. <laughs> oh, that's actually cool. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Good. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Oh, you're just jealous. <sighs> okay, Alyssa. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. Yes. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Uh... <laughs> Groundhog Day. Why not? I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Yeah, well, <clears throat> we all know that. <clears throat> I mean, who wouldn't want to make um, Brooke jealous? Hey, Kate. Poor thing. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Um. After my shower, I'll bring her book back, and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. Maybe just talking with a friend will help her feel better? Oh, of course. She's suffering from depression. Like, severe. <coughs> and she thinks about suicide quite a lot.
What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Run out naked, who cares? Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Sure as I oh, hope so. Oh, who? I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like what it. What is that? I know Nathan. Come stain on her cheek. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. That's not very nice. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, is this show still on? Oh no. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what? Let's. Oh, we can't do it again? Oh crap. Fuck these people, man. Who cares? Wait, is that what it says? Who corpse? Who cares? Who corpse? Who capes? You bitch. I don't know. <clears throat> Just gotta let go. Yeah, I think this is also, um, yeah, Kate. She's also leaving those around, I think. But yeah, we'll, yeah, keep her alive. Keep her sane. Um, right, let's find that book. Okay, someone was just in here. Nobody messes with me, bitch. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. You asshole. Uh, search. No book here. That wasn't a search. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, move. foul soft drink. You didn't really move it that far. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Oh my god. You, no, just please. There's no need to say or you say anything like this. Why blowing up my inbox now? This is, I, and I thought I was into Halloween. Okay. Dana is not messing around here. Let's go to the I need to get room. dressed before I go there. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Wait, he doesn't need to. He's a mad genius. Hello, uh, I was gonna say hello. Uh, now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. A private number? Keep your mouth shut. 
about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Shut oh, up, bitch. shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Fuck people, man. Um, uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. <sighs> and this is why you don't bully people. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Fuck.
God's sakes. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Do you reckon? And let's see what the other option is. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. So she Anything. wants me to be honest? I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? I, I just want to see. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. All she'd have to do is just get a drug test. And then be like, yep, she was drugged, blah blah blah. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this Good. shit. Good. Uh, I'd rather help Kate. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Till then, see you next time.